all new at five. For the first time tonight, we are hearing from the mother of an 11 year old Miami Beach girl who was allegedly molested by a substitute rabbi. A rabbi who was reportedly captured on surveillance tape with the mother. And now her attorney says that rabbi gave the mother an envelope with cash inside. CBS 4's Peter Dinch is live on Miami Beach with the latest developments. And Peter, what is the mother saying? Well, the mother and her attorney, Jeff Herman, say they cannot say if that money was hush money to keep silent. They say it's up to the authorities to determine that. Now, they both spoke out here outside the rabbi's art store. The mother said she was being shunned by the Jewish community since going to the police, and she insists that her daughter's story is a correct one. I was shocked, hurt, disgusted, betrayed. This mother does not want to show all of her face, but wants to speak out about the man captured on this surveillance tape. Substitute Rabbi Steve Caro, who's accused of molesting her 11-year-old daughter at his art gallery. Think about a child who comes home to you very scared and say, Mom, I have something to tell you. Caro is accused of sitting the little girl on his lap, kissing her neck and grabbing her buttocks and then telling her not to tell her mother, who rejects some claims her daughter's story is exaggerated. I think they're garbage, they're disgusting, they have no idea what we're going through. Caro, a part-time rabbi at Sher Ezra Sephardic Synagogue, denied the allegations but said he touched the girl's buttocks for cleansing as she exhibited negative energy. Very simple, it's love, harmony, cleansing, nothing else. There was nothing there is inappropriate, nothing that I violated anybody's right. The victim's mother also says she was shunned by people at the synagogue after going to police. And when she went to the synagogue, she said people told her, You have a lot of nerve to be here. I should pull you out by your hair. Attorney Jeff Herman said the rabbi gave the mother an envelope with cash that was turned over to police. He said she was also told not to report her daughter's allegations. This mother received a telephone call from another rabbi who advised her that according to the Torah, she could receive compensation. She told the rabbi, no, it was too late. Rabbi Caro's friends cannot believe the allegation. He's been nothing but a gentleman and a, and a, a person who's um, stood for what I think the Jewish community has stood for. Now, Rabbi Carl has said that he had had past issues with the girl's family, but attorney Jeff Herman said he could not discuss details of this case or say how much cash was actually inside that envelope that was turned over to police. Meanwhile, police say if you know of any other victims in this case, call Miami Day Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live on Miami Beach, Peter Nench, CBS 4 News.